And what you can also do is that you go, can go to the blue block and there you can change the way your home screen looks like. Your home screen has a few settings and your home screen also has um, color settings and a background image. So what we'll do for now is that we will um, add a top image to our home screen. And you can use some default top images that we uh, offer you. You can use an image from your uh, the scan from the site. Um, you can also look into the images that are already being used in the app and maybe you want to reuse them. You can search for Google. I already showed you how that works. You can upload your own uh, image that maybe somebody made uh, for you. And as of next week, we also offer an integration with Getty images. And what you can do here is that you can use 10 high quality royalty free images from Getty uh, for just 35 euros. And um, they have these really, really amazing um, professional, um, professional, professionally made uh, images. They, they're just gorgeous. And I like flowers, so I like all these images. Okay, let's choose uh, uh, this one. I want to get the image in my app uh, because this is a vert vertical, uh, it's, a, it's a top image. It, the height is not that big, so we'll choose just this part. And now we've made our app look even better. Um, let's take a look at the rest of our home screen. Um, in this app, we now have an icon menu it's some positions on the top so for example let's see if i can change it you can change the put bring the icons uh, down to the bottom for now it's three columns next to each other but like what i can do is i can also change them into uh, two icons if i want to it looks better but now maybe um, this is a bit large so what we can do is we can go down here you can change the text um, so you can say that you want to have the text on top of the icon or on the bottom. I like on the bottom better, uh, but I do want to make the font size a bit larger and bold, for example. Now, the you only see two icons now because the other one they left because this, there's not enough space to show all of the uh, and both rows and both um, the descriptions. So it's just a matter of just trying out and see um, which you like best and which fits um, on the screen. So here you see uh, the icon. The icon is the white uh, image uh, with the eye, uh, for example, and you can make it look, uh, you can make it better, bigger or smaller. Um, and what you here see is the icon background. The icon is positioned on top of the icon background and it has two states and the press state is a little bit darker. So whenever somebody clicks the button, it will show up a little bit darker and will then uh, open the screen. <laughs> yes, I want to keep the changes. Glad that he asked me, so I'll go back to the <laughs> menu. Um, so that's the way how the icon backgrounds um, work and I can make them a little bit smaller. Two, for example, and now I have probably more space to make the font size bigger again. So let's just start playing around and try the different options. Um, so these are all the settings we offer with the icon menu. We offer a lot of different uh, menus. Um, we also offer a list menu or a tab bar or a sliding menu that slides away. Um, but you can also use the image menu where you have the, all the freedom to make your own image. So this um, rectangle is an image that's fully uploaded at the different uh, building blocks. And this um, menu doesn't have hardly any settings. Um, for example, I can change our app into a list menu. We'll just save it. And now our app looks totally different. So it, you can you can set the, 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 the row height here, for example. You can make the font uh, uh, bigger again. So you can make it look totally the way you want to. Um, 
if you say, okay, I want to start all over again, what you can always do is you can go to the design block and you can choose another skin. Um, that was the starting point of your uh, design. You can choose another uh, skin and make your app look totally different uh, if you want to. So we can change it into this. Your current design and all the uh, top images you uploaded, they get lost. Um, so it's also a good idea to make a copy of your app before you make uh, changes like this. And for now, we totally changed the way our app looks. So, um, let's see if I forgot something. I think we're all here. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show one thing that's about transitions and browse modes. Uh, we offer um, lots of different ways to make your app feel really special. Um, so you can say whenever somebody clicks on an icon, for example, in the home screen, how you want to um, want to have the um, new page uh, come in. So let's say we change it to from bottom. So for now, if I go here and I click something, then the new screen will come out oh, so fast that you can hardly see. Oh, yeah, it goes down. Oh, no, this one you can't see. <laughs> um, it comes up from the uh, bottom and it slides up. Um, so just play around also with the transitions and also with the browse mode. Uh, that's for when you're browsing through lists, how you want a new one um, to show up. I'll just put it on paper fold. We'll go to our uh, Twitter block. RSS block is also great. Here, if you had one article and you want to go to the next, here, this is the paper folder browse mode. Now, it's cool, right? Um, 